Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Rumor Roundup, brought to you by AllThingsGaming.net. I apologize for the lack of Rumor Roundups in the past two weeks, I believe, but now that PAX East is out of the way, we will be going back to our normal schedule with the episode up every Wednesday. So to start things off, I just want you all to know that if you look down below, I have all the times listed for the various subjects we'll be talking about, so you can just skip to what you want to hear about. But if you'd like to hear the whole thing, we're just going to start off with Xbox 360. Microsoft is looking to replace the Zune movie and music marketplace with a service called Woodstock. It will be announced at E3, and it's going to be much more integrated than the Zune marketplace. It's going to be available on smartphones, other mobile devices, your computer, and it seems like it's going to be more of a streaming service like Pandora or Spotify. So it'd be interesting to see how that turns out. No, I don't really know anyone who's a big fan of the Zoom Marketplace, and I feel like this change would be very welcome. So that'll be officially announced at E3, it seems like, but it seems it's pretty positive that'll be coming. So the second rumor is that Microsoft will be looking to implement TV ads into Xbox Live streaming services, whether this just means stuff like um, ESPN and MLB, I think there's something and uh, boxing, the, all those different channels, or if they want to implement it in everything, meaning YouTube and Netflix, it's not sure, but they're definitely talking with people, and of course the providers want to get advertisements on their services, everyone's for this besides us, because that means we'd have to watch advertisements, because there's definitely not enough advertisements already on the dashboard, and we're paying for Xbox Live, and for something like Netflix, you're already paying that, so that's two fees, and then you get agreed with advertisements. So it's definitely something they should be weary about, because no one really likes advertisements. So that's about it for Xbox news. We're going to jump right into PlayStation 3 and Vita news. So the PlayStation 3, it's been circling around a bit, there's a rumor that they will be releasing a fighting game similar to Super Smash Bros. Right now it's codenamed Title Fight, and just recently they registered the domain name for Title Fight. So I'm personally excited about this because you can't go wrong with a fighting game mashup, all the Sony exclusive characters, maybe some third parties in there, and it would be a pretty fun game, especially along the lines of Super Smash. So the second one is that there will be a Souls game coming to the Vita from from software. It's unknown if it's like specifically in the Souls series, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, but it's called Souls Sacrifice. It is being made by From Software, so that just points everything to another Souls game. But that gets officially announced with all details in the beginning of May. So check back then to find out everything you want to know about Souls Sacrifice. Santa Monica Studios do make a ton of games. They're one of Sony's biggest studios. It seems that they are hiring to create a new shooter by a job posting posted on somewhere saying that they were looking for someone who was experienced with shooters to make a shooter game published by Santa Monica Studios and Sony. And that coincides with IGN announced today, I believe, that they will be announcing announcement for an announcement that they will be announcing a PlayStation 3 exclusive. They said it's big, they said it's never been announced before, and they said it's a pretty exciting exclusive, so it could be Santa Monica's game, it could be Gorilla's new game they're working on, it could be Quantic Dream's game, it could be the title fight game. Don't really know yet, so check back Friday here or on IGN for what that game is. And other than that, we just have some little games here and there. Rayman Origins 2 seems to have been outed by a survey done by those sites where you sign up and they give you surveys for a few bucks. It asked people what they thought of the concept of Rayman Origins 2 and had some pictures. So that's pretty exciting. Rayman Origins is a great game and uh, Rayman Origins 2 are to be made. It sounds pretty fantastic. Uh, Black Ops 2, or the next Call of Duty game, will be announced May, early May sometime. And it's when pre-order starts, so will be interested to see whether it's Black Ops 2 or if it's some new Call of Duty game. And a bit of sad news is that Adam Sessler will be leaving G4. He's been there since the start hosting uh, X-Play. So he's leaving. Don't really know the reason yet, but 
he was a pretty calm guy who could express his opinions pretty clearly without getting drawn in the different fights people have, so it's kind of sad that he's leaving, but I'm sure he'll go on to wherever he goes and be successful there. So that's about it for the Rumor Roundup this week. Make sure you check back next week and check out allthingsgaming.net for all things gaming. Have a nice day, everyone.